Imagine a world ruled by reptiles, a time when the earth was dominated by creatures of immense size and power. Towering behemoths, some as tall as modern skyscrapers, graze on ferns the size of trees, their long necks reaching up to the highest branches. Meanwhile smaller swifter hunters stalk their prey through dense jungles, their keen senses and agility making them formidable predators. The air vibrates with the calls of creatures unlike any alive today, a symphony of sounds that would have been both alien and awe-inspiring to our ears. This was the Mesozoic Era, the Age of Dinosaurs, a period that spanned over 180 million years and saw the rise and fall of countless species. But a fundamental question has always intrigued paleontologists. Just how many dinosaurs walked the Earth? How did they live, interact and thrive in such a diverse and dynamic world? The sheer scale of dinosaur life is difficult to comprehend. Imagine vast herds of these magnificent creatures moving across the landscape, each species playing a unique role in their ecosystem. These creatures dominated the planet for over 165 million years, evolving into a dazzling array of shapes and sizes, from the gigantic to the minuscule. From the mighty Tyrannosaurus rex, a predator with a bite force unmatched by any other, to the diminutive Compsognathus, a small but agile hunter, dinosaurs occupied every ecological niche imaginable. They adapted to life in forests, deserts, swamps, and plains, each environment shaping their evolution in unique ways. Yet their sheer numbers remain an enigma, a puzzle with pieces scattered across time. Fossils give us glimpses into their world but many questions remain unanswered. Unlocking the secrets of dinosaur population density requires a journey back in time, a meticulous process of piecing together clues from the fossil record and drawing parallels with the ecosystems we see today. By comparing fossils with modern animals, scientists can infer behaviors, social structures, and even population sizes, painting a more complete picture of these ancient giants. It's a journey that takes us from the dusty plains of the American West, where some of the most significant dinosaur discoveries have been made, to the lush forests of prehistoric China, a region that has yielded an incredible diversity of dinosaur fossils. A quest to understand the abundance and diversity of life in a world long gone, a world teeming with giants. Our primary window into the age of dinosaurs is the fossil record, a treasure trove of bones, teeth, and footprints preserved in stone. These remnants, often buried for millions of years, provide invaluable insights into the distant past, allowing us to piece together the lives of creatures that roamed the earth long before humans appeared. Each fossil tells a story, offering a glimpse into the anatomy, behavior, and even the diet of these extinct creatures. By studying the wear patterns on teeth, scientists can infer whether a dinosaur was a carnivore or herbivore. Fossilized footprints can reveal how these animals moved, whether they traveled in herds, and even how they interacted with their environment. Yet the fossil record is inherently incomplete, a fragmented library where countless volumes are lost to the ravages of time. Many fossils are destroyed by natural processes such as erosion, volcanic activity and tectonic shifts. Others remain buried deep within the earth, undiscovered and inaccessible to paleontologists. Fossilization is a remarkably rare event. The conditions required for an organism to become fossilized are so specific that only a minuscule fraction of all living things ever achieve this form of preservation. For an animal to be preserved as a fossil, a specific set of circumstances must align. The organism must be quickly buried by sediment, which protects it from scavengers and slows down the decomposition process. Death must occur in a location where the remains are rapidly buried by sediment, protecting them from scavengers and the elements. This often happens in environments like riverbeds, floodplains, or areas with active sediment deposition. Over time, minerals seep into the bones, replacing the organic material and creating a stony replica. This process, known as permineralization, can take thousands to millions of years, gradually turning the bones into rock. Given these exacting conditions, it's estimated that only a tiny fraction of dinosaurs were fossilized. The vast majority of these ancient creatures left no trace behind, their remains lost to time and the elements. For example, some scientists believe that only 1 in 80 million Tyrannosaurus rex individuals ever left behind a trace in the fossil record. This staggering rarity underscores the challenges paleontologists face in reconstructing the history of life on Earth. This makes estimating population density a daunting challenge, 
akin to reconstructing a vast library from a handful of scattered pages. Despite these challenges, each fossil discovery adds a crucial piece to the puzzle, helping us to better understand the incredible diversity and complexity of life that once thrived on our planet. While the fossil record provides tantalizing glimpses into dinosaur abundance, it is often incomplete and fragmented, leaving many questions unanswered. Fossils can tell us about the physical characteristics of these ancient creatures, but they don't always provide a full picture of their behavior, social structures, or population dynamics. To fill in these gaps, we can glean further insights by looking at the modern world. Observing the living animals around us, especially those that share similar ecological niches with dinosaurs, can offer valuable clues. By studying the population densities of living animals, particularly large mammals like elephants, giraffes, and predators like lions, scientists can draw parallels to the past. These modern giants help us understand how large animals interact with their environment and each other. Scientists can draw inferences about the factors that might have influenced dinosaur numbers. For instance, the availability of food, water, and suitable habitats would have played crucial roles in determining how many dinosaurs could live in a given area. One key concept in ecology is Damuth's Law, which posits a relationship between an animal's body mass and its population density. This principle helps ecologists predict how many individuals of a species can be supported in a particular habitat. According to Damuth's Law, larger animals tend to have lower population densities. This is because they require more resources, such as food and space, to sustain themselves. Generally, larger animals tend to have lower population densities, as they require more resources and territory to sustain themselves. This is evident in modern ecosystems where large herbivores like elephants and rhinos are found in smaller numbers compared to smaller animals. This principle can be applied to dinosaurs, suggesting that the colossal sauropods, like Brachiosaurus and Apatosaurus, likely roamed in smaller numbers than smaller herbivores. These massive creatures would have needed vast amounts of vegetation to survive, limiting their population size. This principle can be applied to dinosaurs, suggesting that the colossal sauropods, like Brachiosaurus and Apatosaurus, likely roamed in smaller numbers than smaller herbivores. These massive creatures would have needed vast amounts of vegetation to survive, limiting their population size. Furthermore, by studying the predator-prey dynamics in modern ecosystems, we can infer similar relationships in dinosaur communities. The balance between carnivores and herbivores is crucial for maintaining a stable ecosystem. Furthermore, by studying the predator-prey dynamics in modern ecosystems, we can infer similar relationships in dinosaur communities. The balance between carnivores and herbivores is crucial for maintaining a stable ecosystem. The ratio of carnivores to herbivores provides clues about the abundance of prey animals needed to sustain a given population of predators. In modern ecosystems, this ratio helps ecologists understand the health and stability of wildlife populations. The ratio of carnivores to herbivores provides clues about the abundance of prey animals needed to sustain a given population of predators. In modern ecosystems, this ratio helps ecologists understand the health and stability of wildlife populations. By applying these principles to the past we can gain a deeper understanding of how dinosaurs lived and interacted within their environments. Dinosaurs didn't inhabit a uniform world. Just like today, the Mesozoic era was a time of diverse ecosystems, each with its own unique climate, vegetation, and inhabitants. From lush rainforests to arid deserts, dinosaurs adapted to a remarkable range of environments, and their population densities would have varied accordingly. The Morrison Formation, a geological formation spanning the western United States, provides a fascinating case study in dinosaur habitat diversity. During the late Jurassic period, this region was home to a rich tapestry of environments including forests, rivers, and floodplains. This ecological variety is reflected in the diverse dinosaur fauna found fossilized in the Morrison Formation, from the iconic Stegosaurus and Allosaurus to the long-necked Diplodocus. Conversely, regions with less hospitable conditions, such as deserts or mountainous terrain, would have supported lower dinosaur populations. These environments presented challenges in terms of food and water availability, limiting the number of animals they could sustain. In the ancient world, survival was a constant battle. 
predators and prey were locked in an eternal dance, each step a matter of life and death. Imagine, if you will, the tension in the air as a predator stalks its prey. The slightest mistake could mean the difference between a meal and starvation. This intricate dance was not just about brute strength but also about strategy, patience, and sometimes, sheer luck. The balance of nature depended on this delicate interplay, shaping the evolution of countless species over millions of years. It's a fascinating reminder of how interconnected life truly is. At their peak, dinosaurs roamed every continent. Their numbers were staggering. From the towering sauropods to the swift raptors, these creatures dominated the land. It's hard to imagine a world without them. To sustain such massive creatures, the environment had to be incredibly rich and diverse. Lush forests, expansive plains, and abundant water sources provided the necessary resources. It's fascinating to think about how these giants coexisted and thrived. Dinosaur populations were not uniform. They varied greatly depending on the region and the available resources. This patchwork of populations created a dynamic and ever-changing ecosystem. It's a testament to their adaptability and resilience. The legacy of dinosaurs is etched in time, through the fossils they left behind. These remnants tell us stories of a bygone era, giving us a glimpse into their world. It's awe-inspiring to think about how these magnificent creatures once ruled the Earth.